sell at school because she's doing a little side hustle at school. And speaking of hustle, um, we're obviously in the tow truck, but speaking of hustle, while we were at pulling up in Sam's parking lot, this nice lady stops me. She says, sir, sir. And uh, I rolled my window down. I says, yes, ma'am, I can help you. She says, oh, I got a car. She's like, my husband passed away. And she's like, I got a car on um, that. She's like, I don't know where the title is. She's like, but it's ours. She's like, it might be in the car. She's like, but he, uh, I just need to get it out of my driveway. She's like, do you want it? So I'll say this at the starting of this video is one of the um, perks of owning a tow truck company is, you know, you have a tow truck at your disposable, disposal, disposable, your disposal, you're able to, uh, you know, I take the truck with me when we go places because you never know when I'm going to get a call and so I don't want to have to go all the way back to the house, right? So, um, it's important to have the truck with me. Well, it worked. Um, if we'd have been in our personal car, I, this would have never had happened. So, you know, it's the little things. But yeah, um, what we'll do is this is kind of like uh, another part of what you was asking. Um, we'll get you some, um, we were just absolutely just out grocery shopping. So this is behind the scenes stuff. We'll uh, see you guys at the pickup. All right, y'all. So um, this is the car that when me and my daughter, we were in the parking lot. And you obviously, y'all already know what's going on. So we got power to it. We're just going to come over here and see if we can't get it to go into neutral. I do not want to start it because it's been tagged since 2021. And I do not want to take that chance. Well, I, Boogie, I don't want to. She's... I can't believe it started. It ain't going to neutral though. Close this door. It ain't going into neutral though. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. Very strange. Wow, I just got a free running car. Okay. Bug. You know what? Just for craps and giggles, let's just... I said craps and giggles. Dude, what? Yeah, get that out. Let's take this off. Oh, okay. So the... So that Well, now the battery is probably all the way gone, or it might need an alternator. Probably an alternator. Oh, <laughs> we started. I could not believe that thing started. All right. I could not believe it. Wow. I mean, okay. Take what we can get. All right, but I'm going to pull the truck up. Um, hey, do you want to pull the truck up? I think you got it. Okay. Hey, I'm glad that you told me. Yeah, because we're at work, right? I understand that. Smart kid, you know? Y'all, I am blessed. So we're going to pull this old girl out and load her up. Put the stop in. PTO up. Neutral. You know, it started. Yeah, I'd had to put it. Mm -hmm. Yep, I put a jump box on it and she did she started straight up just like that, just like that. Yeah. Now I don't like going into drive <laughs> Maybe it's because that door <laughs> Okay, maybe that door's got to be closed for a second for it to want to go into drive But God gives you a running car I mean you take it I mean, and if you're not a believer on my channel, guys, you know what, y'all? It's fine. It's just the door's got to be closed. No, it's not. <laughs> it's got a. It's got something going on. It's got a little bit of something going on with that, but without. Well, sure, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Wow, y'all. I mean, it's. 
I'm kind of oh look it's smoking. She's smoking a little bit. I hope she don't take off and kill us all. <laughs> you take what you can get, y'all. God gives you lemons, you make lemonades. Or whatever you want to make with your lemons. Lemon ring pie, I don't know. Never been a pie, dude. I'm more of like a cake, dude. But then again, I I don't know. I've ever had like one of them like a true, real homemade pie. So I can't say for sure. I'm curious to see what's in that chunk. <laughs> Just, okay. Yeah, make, whatever she needs, baby. Let her get it, what she needs out. All right, you guys, let me get this thing in neutral. I'll start getting her hooked. You know what, we'll involve it. We'll involve y'all. I'm always cutting out. I just put all this new space on this camera, on this card, so. We'll include y'all throughout the whole entire ordeal. Looks like she's, Make sure she's not running hot. Let's see if I can get in neutral. Come on, neutral. All right. Is she running hot? No gas. Temp's starting to rise. We'll put that e-brake on. And we'll turn that off. I don't want to burn her up. At least she runs. At least she runs, y'all. I mean, I'm grateful for that. Man, my kid's such a trooper, y'all. Here we are. We're in the middle of going to park to get a Sam's card so we can start buying bulk candy and potato chips so she can start a side hustle. And while we're there, this lady asks us if we want a car, and Cadence looks at me and says, Dad, let's roll. <laughs> no questions asked. Oh, waste moon coon. All right, so I'm going here. That's double slotted oval hole, y'all. And I'm gonna go there with my baby Jay. All right, I'll show you. On this mighty bridle, guys, this bridle was under sixty dollars. It is bad to the bone, but anyways, that's what I'm gonna go with. We're going a mile to my house, two miles to my house. Another god thing. Or, ooh, you know what? That hole ain't right. Really so look, we went to the double slotted oval hole. Boom. And that might not even be double slotted, but at this point, this one, this one is, uh, it's mine. So, since it's mine, I am not too worried about it. Been in a little bit of a circle hole, even if it is a circle, which I don't think it is. So we're going to take this and throw it over from here. I'll be able to reach that up. The port. Does anyone know anything about these? Are they good engines? Some type of old small wheel. I remember my sister. Oh, Mobile Royal. I remember my sister had like a Cutlass Sierra or something. Rhonda, you remember that? Kieran, Jack, you say you watch my videos, Bubba. So ask your mama. Ask your mama if she remembers that. Look, y'all, I'll slow show you the double slotted over hole I'm going to. Right there. So we're going to that with the baby J. We're gonna put a hook in it. And we're gonna come up here to the winch and we're gonna pull that slack out of the line nice and tight. That way, I'm gonna take the e-brake off. I know that my truck is in control and that the vehicle's not gonna roll. Right? All right. Close this hood. How's it looking, bug? Take the e-brake off. This lady, her name's Terry. She just blessed us with this car. Her husband had passed away and she don't have no title for it. She don't know what to do with it. We know what to do with it. We'll get, we'll find a good home for it. It's old enough to where you don't have to have a title in, in our state. You can get it without emissions and all that, so. They can get a salvage title on it or whatever. I really don't care. It's a running car. Anyways, 
you know what, I don't want to cut the video off. Let's wait and see. Let me give her a second, y'all. All right, man. I, w I wonder if this is one of those bulletproof Buick engines that I've heard so much about. Or, uh, was, I don't think Oldsmobile is, Oldsmobile is Buick. I don't know. Hey, KK, you got your phone on you? No, I mean, I'm thinking, hey, don't, don't walk behind this car. Okay. Um, just cause it's on the winch now, but yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Thank you. Um, let's see Buick. Okay. So Buick Oldsmobile is, I think, I think Oldsmobile is Buick. Y'all, I wonder if this is one of those bulletproof, Bu bulletproof Buick engines I've heard so much about. It'd be cool. It'd just be cool to see if we can get this thing to a home. Somebody that wants to love on it and take care of it. Get a good salvage title on it. I am not putting it in for it because of all the problems I had. I'm gonna throw some straps on it, y'all, and we'll see this thing. We'll see y'all it drop. Free car. So I'm gonna record over this part because Cadence had the radio on and uh uh, I tried to upload the video before and it said some type of copyright thing so we're gonna we're gonna just do a voiceover for this brief short period of time basically uh, we're just tickled pink you know the lady just gave us a car <laughs> and it ran I mean you should have seen Cadence's face whenever that thing fired up <laughs> but um, anyway so yeah um, what we're gonna end up doing with it uh, it's actually already posted we're it's posted for sale. I don't know what we'll get for it, but we'll find somebody that wants that old thing. I don't want to really keep it. It's, I mean, even though the, even even the AC works, y'all. Um, me and her rode around in it on the property, <laughs> and uh, the AC works. We could use it as like a demolition derby car or something. I don't know. It would be kind of cool, you know. Dixie Speedway's just right down the road. As a matter of fact, we I just passed. I was just pointing to the camera just now about. That was a Dixie Speedway driver that we just passed his house. So, yep. Ultimately, um, we could we could take that little thing down there to Dixie Speedway and do like some type of demolition derby. I think that would be kind of cool. But um, yeah, it's getting to a point to where um, you know I do get lucky every now and then, and people do things like give me cars. This would be. So that silver car, that Infinity that's over there, that one I, I got paid a hundred dollars to pick it up, and then I also got given a free Audi shell one time on Marketplace. I went and got it; it was free. Um, oh, Cody, a buddy of mine, gave me one, two, three free cars uh, when I first started my business. He just they were all cars that he had sitting around. He didn't want, you know, didn't want, and they were just like junkers or whatever, gave them to us, but, uh, yeah, anyways, let's see here, we're getting to the point to where I think that radio will be off or whatever, and so we'll be able to go back to the normal sound, thanks. We are, uh, as healthy as we can. You know, she's 13, y'all. She's my responsibility to make sure that she's healthy. And uh, it's very easy to tell your kids they can have whatever they want. It takes a real father and a daddy to tell them, hey, you know, this isn't what you need. This is, this is unhealthy. So she's been hustling. Now, you see these snacks here? I will say this, y'all. I'm very proud of this little girl. Those snacks aren't my daughter's. Those snacks are to sell. She's taking those to school and she's selling them. Plus, she's going to be selling the some chips. They're called the uh, whole shebangs. Most people don't know about them. They're very, they're the best chip in the world, in my opinion. However, um, they're not accessible by a lot of people. A lot of people don't know about them. So, we're hold on. One, yeah, go ahead, babe. Yesterday, we had four thousand, like just doing what our walk. Yeah. All right, y'all. So yesterday we did a, we've been doing nightly walks before bed. And yesterday, her and I knocked out, what was that number, baby? 4,553. 4,553. So, 
um y'all this is the free car we're just gonna put it here for now um to get unhooked so i can go get her dinner cooked well not cooked like i said we bought rotisserie so we're gonna make some really nice like sandwiches and stuff but anyways y'all um this is a little bit more behind the scenes stuff this is sunday this is what i this is like typical for stuff i do on a sunday you know so um if you haven't already liked the video and uh subscribe to the channel thanks for watching what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna show you how i get calls and um where a lot of my calls come from and how i get them so what you do here is in my area you go in and you type in towing and ackworth okay there's my old company right so you go down there and click more businesses this is how i get calls okay so you come here you scroll down look i'll show you one two three oh i'm sorry one two three four five i'm the sixth one down okay here i am all right so here's my google web page right here it is here's all my pictures all the different work that i've done over time you know that i keep uploaded um and then also i have a website as well that i have um it's town lake towing and i created all this by myself um all by myself i created all this i do not pay for advertising anymore because it, to me it's a really big scam but um and so i have my own website I created it myself We'll just say except for the okay and then so here it is you can hit here and it's going to call my number you hit and it's going that's my number that's what pulls up anyways um so yep here's the website i created all this myself right now if you know if i wanted to message me for a tow i could which i don't want to message myself i can come through here and i can click that and it takes me straight to my channel my customer straight to my channel okay I created all this myself you know you just you learn how to do it over time I'm, i have all my reviews linked on here so people can read the reviews and watch my videos and but yeah so that's how i get a lot of my calls and then so just a quick uh shout out to mighty you guys um something i would like to uh i'm gonna do this off camera because <laughs> i know that all right, so um, shout out to Mighty, you guys. I'm going to show you all something. I got a new link that I'm going to be sharing. I'll put it in the description to this video. But um, so basically what I have coming in the mail uh, is a new cable, okay? And um, what I'll do is, is I'll put pictures here, okay? So you guys can see the cable that I'm going to be getting and then the bridle that it's on the way. And then I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on each item when they get here. You know, I'm going to unbox it and open it up and show you guys you know, what it looks like fresh out of the box, how much it costs, what it's rated for, give you guys an understanding of how it's going to work. You know, even with the cable, I'm going to install it on video so y'all can see. But yeah, um, let's get back to the video. All right, so good morning. Um, just got up. It's like five, uh, it's four, it's six in the morning a.m. Eastern time here in Atlanta um cadence and i i'm gonna run her to school um <clears throat> we'll see you know i'm gonna uh see if we can't get her uh her to the bus stop and then start running some calls um, i am not in uniform yet uh so when we get back to the house we'll uh we'll suit up and stuff i mean i can do calls as is but i don't have my i don't have my uniform on we're gonna go do a um, pre-trip real quick and get this thing on the road. We'll see y'all here in a little bit. Whoop. Good morning. Um, I was on my way to back from dropping KK up from school and sure enough, first, my first call came in. Um, it's uh, 125 and six. That's 125 on the hook, $6 a mile. I'm 43 minutes from it. I'm going out to LAJ to, uh, uh, I apologize. I'm going um, up to ball ground to pick it up. It's a geo tracker and I'm running it to Ella J. It's 30 miles and I'm getting 125 and 6. Uh, zero in route, but that's the company that I'm doing this for don't do in route. That's why it's such a high hooking mile uh, rate on the mileage for a, a small car. Anyways, y'all, we'll see y'all at pickup. Okay, y'all. All right, so we are here. 
on my first tow. Um, I did not anticipate um, getting one that quick. However, um, I did have the tow truck, so I was fortunate. So what we're gonna do, um, I did try to call the customer. I did not get in contact with them. I did leave a message. So maybe they might come out and I did not see the keys and the steering is not, uh, it is one of the ones with the key uh, that the steering will lock. So I figure, heck, if I can just get it up to my bed, I can put skates on the front tires and turn it if I need to, worst case. Plus I got a pretty good angle on it, if you can see. That angle's really important, at least for me in this truck. I mean, I know that there's a little bit more forgiveness whenever you got a little bit bigger truck, um, more capable trucks, not knocking my truck, I'm just saying. I do know they're, the newer stuff out there, they've made a lot of improvements with the technology. All right, so we'll just set her here. All right. Um, I don't necessarily like going through people's vehicles. Um, I look, you know, I look in plain sight where I can see, see if I can see a key. If I don't, guys, I don't usually spend a lot of time on that. Um, I've learned as a tow truck driver, you, you can sit there and have somebody, you, man, I've known people that, I've worked for tow truck companies that you make you go to the house and pick up the key before you tow the car. And you want to talk about a waste of time and diesel. Man, I don't care what anybody says. You, if you don't have the capability of getting these things without keys, um, you better figure something else out. Because you, it's not always going to be the case. You're not always going to have a key. So, let me see what I'm going to hook up here. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to, looking along this frame rail, I'm not seeing nothing. No, we'll, okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to go here to that guy in the frame, okay? That's where I'm going here. Y'all can do what y'all want to do. That's where I'm going, all right? So, I'm going to hook one there. I'm going to throw my other hook over. Thank you, Mighty. <laughs> so this is a little, this, all the gear I use, guys, is Mighty. But this little bridle here that I'm using right now is one of the newer things I've gotten. And man, have I enjoyed this bridle. They make a longer one and a shorter one. Mine is the longer one, which I should have got the shorter one. However, uh, Mighty is such a affordable, they have, the, all of their stuff is so affordable. Um it's okay i'll just get it i'll just get the shorter one i mean it's th that bridle was under 60 dollars believe it or not Doo -doo -doo. It looks like something make sure e-brakes off and out of gear all right out of gear yeah i don't see the key in plain sight and like i said i typically don't go uh through people's vehicles like that i just what i do really honestly is what would i want done i don't want nobody going through my car okay so i kind of do what and i always and that's with anything i do in life i mean what would you want done to yourself so and it works pretty well i mean as long as you kind of stick with that how would you want it to be done kind of thing uh it's going to be pretty hard to lose and do people wrong i mean unless you just don't expect much from people or expect much for your money you know I know if I pay for something, I expect a good bit for my money and my... I mean, I just do. You guys are going to like this one. We're going to throw some skates up underneath it and snatch this front end over because I can't turn it. But I don't have a straight pull on my um, uh, bridle. Something's... It's hanging up on a hook underneath there a little bit like it's flipped or something. I'll show you. why it's acting weird to the one side all right you guys let me um i gotta get a quick video for add-ons i'll be right back with y'all all right y'all so i got the skates up underneath those tires watch what it does because the winch is designed with you got a double hook to pull straight you'll see that it's gonna pull the car over. I got my idle on low for a reason, y'all. I do this, I, I just, slow and steady for me, you know? Especially when it comes to stuff like this, slow and steady wins the race. Those skates are minimizing the resistances. Yep, 
and I mean it makes it to where it's gonna go straight up the truck to where I ain't gotta worry about it coming off at a weird angle you know what I mean if not that that tire would have been riding up my rail I, I mean I wouldn't have been able to load it it'd have been a pain in the butt Skates out. Um, guys, I'm gonna get four straps on this thing. That takes more time than what uh, I want to be able to put, just be putting on camera. But let's just go ahead and take a look at what we're gonna put and where we're gonna put them. See that? I'm gonna go there on both sides to the back, and then I'm gonna run a. I'll show you real quick for the front strap, so you guys can see what I do. So if there's not like a lot of places to go to, like see how on this one I can go here, but I'm not going to because it's that's a, that's not a that's not to me it's not a healthy hookup like I could lose it there. But if you look here, there's a hole right here. See it? The oval hole, double slotted in the frame. That's where I'm gonna go to. All right, y'all. I'm gonna uh, get this thing hooked up. I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm sorry, scratch that. For the back one, I'm gonna go here to strap down. All right, see y'all at drop. Roll on the strap. So also, I do wanna show y'all on these geos, do you see that one? So I, you gotta be careful, because you, if, you, if you tighten them too much, you can bring it up into the bumper, you know, so if, you, if, if that one doesn't work for you, there's, what I do, okay, is I put my, my strap because I, I can't use you can't use your bridle as a hookup so i'll put my j hook i'll show you real quick i did this on a, a, a i did this on another video but i want to show y'all so if you take this j and you hook into that bridle okay you take your Okay, and you run your strap all the way here. That's a solid hookup. And you tighten that bad boy down. What you're doing now is essentially you're taking all of the tension off of your cable. Now you're not the wind chain part of the system. The straps are, okay? Just figured I'd show y'all that. I showed it on other videos, but I do like to reiterate and make sure that um, everyone knows, hey, look, it's the most important thing is making sure you got all your tie downs, man. I don't care what nobody says. If you, you may be a great driver. Let, I mean, let's just be honest. You may be a phenomenal driver, but you cannot control what other people do at all. And since that's the case, if you're loaded, and somebody hits you and you and you're one hook you got your hook to your winch and you got just a hook on it just one hook you're literally asking to kill people i mean that's what you're i mean you're signing up and you're basically saying you know I, i've accepted the fact that if something happens outside of my control you know people are probably just going to lose their life and that's just the way it's going to be i mean these vehicles even if it's god it don't have to be a heavy vehicle it can be a little car i mean anything going especially when you're traveling down the interstate man golly god forbid you're doing 55 65 you can't replace a life you guys and because of that take the five minutes it takes to strap your stuff down it's five minutes y'all take it and then make sure all your stuff's tight and if you're not 100 percent sure on uh where to hook up and stuff man you can g absolutely go to um tow man 127's channel there's it's in neutral he breaks off there are so many um towing channels out there that, that uh will sh that have neutral overrides in their um videos there's no excuse guys you just don't don't risk people's lives you know innocent people on the road it's just not worth it. People are relying on us to get this job done without hurting people. Or their property. Alright. Alright, y'all. 
I'm gonna unhook from this thing and uh, we're gonna get this uh, get on to the next one I'll try to get as many as the stuff I can on camera today. Thank y'all. Um, I was able to get a shower and uh, grab my shoes and I got another one already I gotta go on um, this one is a uh, short one it's a to Honda it's it's not even a uh, 10 mile tow but we're gonna go and <clears throat> where's my socks I know I had socks here they are um, we're gonna go and knock it out real quick we'll, I'm gonna put my shoes on and I'll see you guys at pickup all right y'all so something that I'm not sure if we discuss a bunch but um, making sure okay that we do not cause any more damage than what is ever is already going on with the vehicle so this one they did say it was drive we said oh yeah you can drive it right up on your truck but guys most times that's not gonna be the case and even then okay there's only gonna be man it's just I've heard so many war stories Cesar Torres really he is uh, airbags airbags being deployed um you can deploy an airbag if you tap that front bumper onto your bed All right. so on this one y'all double uh not double slotted that see that hole right there that's where she's going <clears throat> baby jack same thing here double or that hole for the baby jake not my favorite ones for Hyundai, but Hyundai don't give you a lot of great options so right now the vehicle is already currently in neutral but the e-brakes on so because it had a push one which you can do with your foot so now hit that e-brake put the tension on the line and let's do our thing try not to walk behind vehicles that are hanging in neutral off your truck guys by the way that's another one too Caesar's always getting on to me about and thank you Caesar. I know you're just looking out for me bro trying to keep me safe and make sure that I'm if I am doing any type of hey this is what we do at least you know I'm going along with some of those really important standards for safety that we all should be utilizing once again guys I, I usually winch up like this it's just i don't have my eye chuck on high idle um this engine's old guys and i'm definitely afraid of tearing it up so i just take it nice and easy once i get this thing up and strapped down i'll see y'all at drop okay so i'm also gonna do a voiceover for this last part just because um i just wanted to take a second to tell everybody thanks um, I've been getting more comments on the videos and the more comments that I get the and the more likes uh, The more it helps the algorithm and so I just really wanted to say thanks to everybody um, Also, you know, thanks to uh, the Villa Reels uh, Gilbert reached out and said that he's sitting an impact So I'll do an unboxing on that and show that to everybody um, but yeah, ultimately we are um, getting to a point to where um, it's getting busy like today these uh these calls that i did um that's not the end of that day that was just really all i could i can't keep uploading you know long super long videos like this so what i'm going to start doing is is like if it's going to be a whole day of towing i'll just do a small piece of each tow and get like you know one 30 minute video out of it and then you know because if it's going to be like five or six tows you know or even more um it's going to take a lot of, uh, you know, just me doing short clips and stuff, which, you know, I need to figure out how to do that and still make sure that, you know, uh, we're still being somewhat informative. Um, I know I should have been wearing gloves. That's Hunter. Trust me. I know I can already hear you now, bud. But, um, yeah, I mean, so far everything went smooth for the day. I mean, it was a uh, very fast start, um, which typically doesn't really happen. I mean, it does every now and then, but it was like uh, as soon as I got out, 
and I uh, got cadence. It's like uh, the apps just started going off and the phone just started ringing and you know things started happening and you started stacking the truck so you know you just you roll with it when you can and whenever you get a break go home and get a nap and wait for the next call anyways you guys uh, that's pretty much it on this one i appreciate y'all watching and um, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe